A very good start there in the centre of the field. That's Mia Gross on her inside. Abby Goldie, the New Zealander. But Gross into her running now, striding away from the field. Very, very fast there. She'll take the win. 11.80, the unofficial winning time there. And that could, if that's the official time, if it gets any faster, 11.79, the win, 0, zero. There's another world junior qualifying time for Mia Gross. What a great race. She obviously had to stay relaxed through that middle stage when Abby Goldie went past her through 50 metres, but she did stay relaxed. And, and that shows maturity beyond her years to be able to do that because a lot of sprinters, when somebody comes up to you and passes you, the first thing you want to do is you want to tense up and try harder. But she didn't do that. She did everything she was supposed to. She relaxed. She relied on her leg stride. And, and that was a great race. Yeah, excellent running there, showing the strength it needed to, you know, get through these rounds and... Uh, you might see some of these athletes really having a crack. Like, there is a long gap before they do the semi-final, so why not get out there, bust out all that nervous energy and, you know, come back ready to be when it's serious. It is serious right now. I'm not saying it's not serious, <laughs> but that's what it really is on the line. Well, she looked great, didn't she? I mean, she's put out the fastest time so far. 11.79. That's, that's a great effort. And she's trains down in Geelong next to Jess Gooley, who we'll see in the 400 hur hurdles later on. Um, this weekend, so she's uh, a great athlete and talented athlete. And